all these plastics around us, where are they now? They are not gone, still here. Can you feel the seriousness? Industrial production of plastics, which began in the early 20th century, has soared since the 1950s with annual global production exceeding 400 million tons. We have used a lot of plastic like this, but the problem is getting bigger. First, like the pictures I showed you, there are marine waste and wildlife damage problems. About 8 million tons of plastic waste goes into the sea every year. Millions of animals, including marine life, die of plastic every year, and nearly 700 species are known to be affected by plastic. Subsequently, considering that a lot of plastic flows into the ocean and enters the body of marine life, it is inevitable that it will enter the human body again. Eventually, hormone-related cancers are likely to surge due to endocrine disruptors that enter our bodies. The other problem is that the recycling rate is very low. Did you know that only about 10% of over a million tons of plastic are recycled a year? One of the reasons why the plastic are difficult to recycle is that they are made of various material, not one material. Then they need to be classified by material, but the process requires a lot of manpower and cost. So how do we solve this problem? We need to change to a post-plastic society. Post-plastic means building a new plastic production and consumption system beyond the current system. In consideration of the low recycling rate of plastic, I thought of things that could be changed in the manufacturing process. The company can increase the recycling of plastics by changing the design of products, unifying materials, or changing packaging method. As a result, screening and monitoring are needed in the production and distribution process. Yonsei University Kim Processor emphasized the importance of the plastic recycling with introducing some brands. Among the brands, IKEA said that they will replace all plastic products with recyclable and renewable plastic by 2030. Also, some of the existing plastics are being made from renewable ingredients such as corn, beet, and sugarcane. Next, individual efforts are essential to minimizing the use of plastic. Firstly, we need to make a habit of reducing plastic consumption through campaigns. In my case, the university is conducting a general waste campaign to use disposable products and reusable products to minimize waste discharge. I got 30 hours for volunteer work that used recyclable items such as eco bags and mugs. At first, I did it for a price, but the most important part is the environmental protection activities have become our daily life. Whenever I go to buy something, I always carry on my echo bag and my tumbler. Also, we can participate in the campaign at Greenpeace website, the International Environmental Protection Organization. Participation in this campaign will reduce the use of plastic as well as disposable items and we will make a habit of living without plastic. Currently, due to COVID-19, the market for home meal replacement and delivery food has grown by 13% compared to the previous year. When we order delivery food, let's pay attention to the checkbox that asks for plastic spoons and straws to be removed. Do you still consume plastic items when you don't really need them? We need to reduce plastic consumption from terrible things. As plastic has covered the earth this much, we all need to work together. There is only one art for us, and let's shout post plastic for the art. When plastic is used only where it is needed and becomes a calculating resource, the earth can be sustainable.